Hello guys. Just thought I'd give you a little update here on my 19 special edition Grizzly, Yamaha Grizzly. Turn the camera around here. Haven't rode it much the last three three months. I did ride it yesterday. Got another 100 kilometers on her there on our ride. I guess 94 kilometers. But uh, three months ago, I went to the dark side and bought a Can-Am Maverick XXC. Yeah, I know. I know. I went to the Can-Am side. Sorry. But uh, I wanted. I was going to get an Air Max, but couldn't find one and found that. Not disappointed though. It does work good, but don't worry. I couldn't get rid of my Grizzly here. But uh, anyways, yeah, just thought to give you a little update here, show you what we got on her here. I'd have a lot more on it if I didn't uh, have bought the, the Maverick. Yeah, there we go, 6,307 kilometers. So I think you American guys can do the math and figure that out for miles. But that's a lot of running, say 2019. And what do I got? I got 1,500 some on that. So if I hadn't have bought that, this year would have, yeah, close to 8,000 on it by now. If I hadn't have bought the side by side. But took her out yesterday, first time in three months. Runs like a charm still. No, uh, no disappointments, that's for sure. Just amazed though at these tires. I gotta actually rotate them because I know it's the backs are getting down a little bit more, but I've already rotated them once. But I don't know if you can see there, those tires, you say 6,300 kilometers on them and all kinds of tread left on them still. That's crazy. I'm really, really impressed with these uh, the shadow here, it is screwing up my camera. Really impressed. Got a few little scratches on her here. You know, did crack my fender right there. I had to patch her up a little bit. I was just backing it out of the shed in the winter time and caught the edge of the door. And you know, having to plastic when you hit something in the winter time. But uh, yeah, end up I had to put new mirrors on it this spring. There, got these off Amazon, Kemimoto. They work really well. Cheap too. I think they're, I don't know, 40 bucks or something like that. So, can't complain there. And for you, I wonder how I keep it so clean because I, I get people asking me when we go for our rides and whatnot, how do you keep it so clean? Well, this is the stuff right here. Right there. Lucas Slick Mist Tire and Trim Shine. Get at the local automotive store, like 11 something. It's cheap, goes a long way. You don't need to use a lot of it. Shines her up really nice. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update there on, on the Grizzly. Some of the guys that watch my channel want to know if I kept the Grizzly after I bought the side by side, and yeah, I still got it. Haven't had no issues with it really. I did change, I guess it'd be a year ago now, uh, the seals here in the in the rear diff. Come back from one ride a year ago and I noticed they were just damp. They weren't really leaking, they were just, it was just damp. You see the dust sticking to the, to the boots there and that. So I ordered a couple seals in and actually by the time I changed them, I didn't even see that really leaking anymore. So when we tore it apart, there was a little piece of grass in the one there. Whether that was just making it seep a little bit or what, but we changed them anyways. They were cheap. So other than that, I haven't really had any issues at all with it. And like I said, 6,300 kilometers. So it's been a good machine. I wish you got your Yamaha reliability, right? Still original belt and everything, which is common for the Yamahas that's they say they can go they got a five year or ten year warranty on the belt now I guess but their CVT transmission is one of the best so can't complain there but so yeah other than that that's all I've done to this machine 
regular maintenance, changing the oil regularly. I change it every thousand kilometers. I think the book says 2,000 or something like that, but I change it every thousand. Same with the diff oils. And uh, yeah, haven't had any problems at all. She's a good machine. I'll probably run it more in the winter time rather than the side by side. I'll keep that for my summertime and keep this for winter more snow plowing and whatnot. And if you go for trail ride, I'll take this. Still enjoy the four wheeler as well. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, hope you keep watching my videos. I've had a lot of people reach out to me there. I know I don't have a lot of subscribers or nothing yet, but I even had a guy from Pennsylvania message me and actually call me on the phone asking me some questions about the my side by side and whatnot. And I see he was a Yamaha guy as well. He's on the fence on what to buy. And so anyways. Hope you keep watching and liking my videos and I'll catch you on the next one.